Hello investors and traders, today we will check out the S&P 500 technical analysis using the Elliott wave and let's start with the global picture, it's a, a monthly chart, we can see that it's, it was a clean the five, um, five wave uh, moves, the first wave, then a small correction, the second, then we had the third wave, the uh, longest wave in, the, uh, in our impulse, then we had a triangle, I remind you that usually we have a triangle in the first wave here check it it was uh, since 2018 and uh, uh, finished at the covid crisis actually it was uh, a b c d and e and then uh, we uh, got out from this triangle and then it was the, the last wave the fifth wave uh, usually of, of course after the impulse we have a correction and let's uh, check out closer the situation that now we are having um, in the in the index in my mind now we having an expanding leading diagonal and let's uh, check it uh, closer it's a daily chart here look uh, it was the first wave then the second the third the fourth and uh, i think it's it, there is another uh, it should be another move down uh, maybe at the levels of uh, uh, three uh, 3000, 3020. Let's check. We can measure the target using the Fibonacci. Uh, let, give me a minute if uh, it's the third, the fourth. So we can uh, actually measure the, the last wave. Uh, let's uh, do it. So we are checking, and uh, the length of the last wave uh, should be at least like the uh the third wave even uh, a little bit longer so our target is 3386 so let's uh, let's put it uh, here give me a minute yeah so it's supposed to be here uh, yeah using the fibonacci levels but actually it's uh, it's going to be only the the a move the a wave then we had uh, we can see a small bounce b and then another another tough correction it's it will be the uh, finishing of the correction it will be c but uh, now in the near future maybe till the end of this year i think that we we can make the, this move the fifth wave and it's uh, its target will be here yeah about uh, uh, 30 34 of uh, s p 500 also let's check the rsi the momentum indicator we can see that uh, on the weekly chart it's uh, 43 so there is another uh, there, uh, another place to move down uh, we didn't got yet the lower border so uh, there is a, f a free space uh, for the index to get down there are many reasons of course why we can see another move down it can be the high inflation the uh, interest rate uh, hikes of uh, Fed, uh, maybe the recession in the world in the US. But anyway, from technical point of view, the index now looking very very weak. So it was my analysis of uh, S and P 500 uh, for uh, beginning of September. Uh, also, if you like uh, investing in stocks, US stocks, Canadian stocks, you can subscribe to onto my channel. Uh, visit my um, uh, other videos i have uh, many uh, stock analysis on my channel so uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, have a good day bye